little shy, but it's okay. Um, so I, I met with them individually this past week and kind of wanted to hear their heart about why they want to be baptized. And they told me that they've actually been baptized before, um, but a part of this journey that we're on, sometimes our parents or the ones that raised us have been a part of that journey. And it's an extension of their faith. And so we participate in that. But at some points in this process, that faith has to become our own. And so these three have expressed that their faith in God is their own. And they're doing this because they want everyone to know that God is the Lord. And he is their Savior. And so we, we get to participate in this. And then um, express to them time and time again that this is individual. This is theirs, this is their connection with God, this is part of their relationship and their obedience to trusting in Him. But also, corporate, as we get to participate in this as well. Um, Paul says this in his letter to the Second Corinthians. For the love of Christ controls us. And he's talking about being obedient and, and God, uh, that love of Christ controlling them. So, because we have concluded this, that one has died for all, therefore all have died. And he has died for all, that those who might live no longer live for themselves, but for him who for their sake died and was raised. From now, from now on, therefore, we regard no one according to the flesh, even though we once regarded Christ according to the flesh, regard, regard him thus no longer. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away, behold, the new has come. So just uh, as this time right now is, a, is going to be a testament, a reminder to you three, that the enemy can come not. There's going to be trials. There's going to be tribulations. There's going to be things that are going to cause you to question the death. But this, right now, this action that we're going to do is a reminder that this set stone is done. Jesus died for us all, and you're rejoining in that death, the life, death, and resurrection. So that's what we get to do today. Do you agree that you have committed and you are fully trusting that God, Jesus, is your Lord and Savior today? Okay, so without further ado, let's, let's get this celebration started.